Millwall nil, Leeds one. A killer goal, probably for Leeds here. Well, they've nailed it, haven't they? It's 3 0. We hear the term perfect away performance a lot. This is it. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another vlog. 9 a.m. Sunday morning. We are about to head off to Millwall versus Leeds in the Championship. I've seen both of these teams already once this season. Millwall, I was at their 1-1 draw with Birmingham just before the international break. But frankly, Gary Rowe has been there for a fair wee while. We know what to expect. Solid, hard to beat, especially at the Den. As for Leeds, a little bit of a chaotic transfer window. They're hoping everything's gonna settle down now. We've hit this first international break and away they go with their new sign-ins, all available and presumably ready to go and we'll see a few of them today. With that being said, let's head down to South London to the Den. One and a half hour run, let's do this. And we have touched down here in Bermondsey, drive right through the middle of London across the river to South London here. Plenty of police around, always a spicy one. About 10 minutes to the ground. Team news very soon. Team news in then for Millwall, as expected. Bialkowski in goal, no Sarkic there. All the loanies are in, that's Longman and Campbell and Norton Cuffey. No Fleming starting, he's on the bench. Nisbet and Bradshaw expected to get the goals in this one. As for Leeds, they look strong as ever up front. Somerville in today. Nonto, Piro, Ruta. That front four can be deadly, but Millwall will be well set to stop them. No sign of Spence or Kamara or Gruev. So Daniel Farker is easing the new players in for Leeds. Let's head inside the ground. Look at that black cloud. Go. Number two, Leeds. Players are out, great atmosphere as you'd expect in the dead. Millwall versus Leeds in the championship, here we go. Well, the first six minutes of this have been absolutely all Millwall. They're getting the ball in the box over and over again. There's a handball shout, well, well on top. Leeds just haven't managed to get out yet. Great start from Millwall. Absolutely incredible stuff. Leeds have kind of got out once or twice. Millwall have still been on top. There's a huge chance for Mitchell to play Bradshaw through. Big hand ball shout with Ailing, who's laying on the ground, heads the ball. Leeds, massive quick counter attack. That's the quality of the front four. Quick, I think Nonto, then Ruta. Hero made the third man run for the number 10 position. Strokes it in to the back of the net. And we against the run of play here. 15 gone. Millwall nil, Leeds one, Hero. Midway through the first half, one nil Leeds. That goal just sucked a bit of the atmosphere out of the ground and just blunted Millwall, who were on top up until that point. Leeds looking to hit on the counter with those front four, the one touch passing does look dangerous that they can get it working again. Millwall need to build up that pressure again bit by bit. They need to chase though because they're a goal down. 30 gone, still plenty of threat from Millwall. Longman just hit one right footed, good save by Melier. Lee still have got that threat though, haven't they? Playing quick, right tight spaces around the edge of the box. That's what Millwall have got to contend with, but they've not played badly, but they are still behind. Half time then, Millwall nil, Leeds one. Pretty fascinating game to be honest. Millwall for the most part are trying to do it with attrition and territory and making the Leeds defenders defend. Leeds just want to do it by really silky quick passing with their four forwards around the box and that's what's worked so far. Millwall on top until that Leeds goal, lovely little quick bit of play and slid through Piro, the third man runner, stuck it in. They do look dangerous. Millwall have not played badly by any stretch of the imagination. 
You'd imagine whoever carries out their game plan, that pattern is probably not going to change in the second half. But with all of these parachute teams as well, you can always rely on the bench to just maybe edge things in their way in the second half. Half time, Millwall nil, Leeds one. Fascinatingly poised. Off we go, second half, and Mill got exactly what they wanted, a big chance straight away. Bradshaw gets played in, hits it straight at Millier. How many more chances are they going to get like that? Nil-nil. Just up the hour mark now, nice flow, nice intensity to the game. No big chances, except that Bradshaw one right at the start of the half. I'm sure we're going to the benches soon, and that will change things. Leeds will be happy enough with the pattern, Roded and Strauick still. Head it, kick it, getting away, everything Mill will throw at them. But, well, there's one goal in it. You know things can change in a second. 1-0 Leeds, 61 goal. 20 to go, Leeds swapping both their wingers here. Nonto and Somerville out. And James and Anthony coming in shows the quality they've got in reserve. Starting to pour down with rain here. They're definitely going to earn this three points if they can keep Millwall quiet. 1-0 Leeds, 20 left. Yeah, a killer goal probably for Leeds here. 77 on. I think it's only their second shot on target. Dan James carries it straight through the middle of the pitch. I think it's Britain possibly with this shot. The cross goal there's then an easy tap in his shell. Piro again with his second goal. They have hang in there, Leeds. The two centre halves have hit it, kick it, everything away. And it looks like they've won the battle over here. Bill Nil leads to about 12 to go. Piro with both. Oh, they've nailed it, haven't they? It's 3 0 to Leeds. Millwall coming forward from a corner. Everyone's up. Lightning quick counter attack. As soon as it went through, and I saw it was Dan James running. No one's catching him. He puts the ball across as a slip in the box, and Brutter has got all the time in the way on touch. Strokes it in right foot. The three points are going at Leeds' way. We hear the term perfect away performance a lot. This is it, they've taken all their chances, they've weathered the storm. 3 0 Leeds, 81 on the clock. And we are back to the car, and it was Millwall nil, Leeds 3. Leeds absolutely nailed that one in the end, but. For the most part, I know this sounds crazy on a 3-0, the game was pretty even. Millwall started well, Leeds broke away. I said this last time they, I saw them. Quality in those front four, quick passing, not many in the championship, even as good a defensive setups as Millwall are going to be able to live with that. They get in front, and then I've got to give credit really to Roden and Strarick at the back because the challenge then is just concentrate, don't give away any big chances. And although Millwall had possession, they had territory, and they did get that ball towards the Leeds goal, they never really made any big chances really throughout the game. And then at that point, it was a case of could Leeds pick Millwall off, could they? Another two goals, substitutes, the bench and James and Anthony making a bit of a difference there. That's always going to be the case with the wealthier teams, Leeds being one of them, having just coming down from the Premier League. And Pirro gets his second. It was him who scored the opener. And Rutter gets the third and... What looked on paper like a difficult assignment looks like it was an easy win, but they really had to work for that Leeds to come out with three points, three goals and a clean sheet. This does have the feeling from a Leeds point of view of a hell of a lot of ticks in a hell of a lot of boxes, doesn't it? Did they have the character to come to Millwall and win? Yes. Did they stand up and manage to head and kick away everything? It's a difficult style to play against. The rain's coming down. The fans are against you. Spicy atmosphere. Yes, they had the character and they had the wherewithal to cope with that. Didn't have to use any of the new sign-ins from the start and they can drip them in as we go three-game week. And... 
I think the thing that probably all other championship fans, of supporters of the other 23 teams are worried about when they watch Leeds is this front four, this quick football in and around the tight spaces, in and around the area. We're starting to see flashes of it. The worry is what happens when they start to dominate games and they're able to just wear teams down and play through at will. A bit more counter-attack today, you would have to say. But if they can start to do that, then yes, there's going to be a lot of three-pointers coming in for Leeds. I'm sure their fans are super, super happy with that start of a three-game week. I think they head to Hull and then it's Watford at home in the week. It's seven points in three for Leeds. They are starting to move. Others ahead of them have more points, but that may be changing in the next five or six games as we go towards the next international break. From a Millwall point of view, honestly, they didn't play that badly. They put pressure on a side that's got... Just, if we're honest about it, way more expensive attacking players that can just make the difference in an even game. And honestly, it was an even game. I think Leeds scored with the first two shots on target, one on 15 and one on sort of 75, 76 minutes. And Millwall had lots of the ball, like I say. Where I did think they lacked is if they are going to play direct, I think Strawick and Roden had it all their own way. Maybe they lacked a bit of size in the front six there, Millwall, because certainly the first part, building the territory and getting the ball forward, was working. Did they make any big chances? Um, OK, Bradshaw at the start of the second half, they didn't take that one. But other than that, I'm not seeing the Leeds goal getting peppered. And they stood up fairly well, I would suggest. I think it's Rotherham at home for Millwall. They're, they're quite low down, I think just above a point per game. So sort of bottom six area, they really need to beat Rotherham now, Millwall, and try and get things moving. Traditional slow starters, but traditionally good at home. I wouldn't think they'd be massively unhappy. I'm sure Leeds are going to take someone to school fairly soon when Daniel Farker really gets that front four purring. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Get your thoughts in via the comments. Are you a Millwall fan? Do you concur with me? You're kind of happy and maybe you just put it down to getting picked off by some really good attacking players. Can you be confident of going on and improving in the next few weeks? From a Leeds point of view, I suspect there's not too much to say. It looks like it's now coming good in the direction we sort of thought it was going to once the chaos of the transfer window was open. I'm sure there's not much to dislike about that from a Leeds point of view. And how do you see things moving forward? Can this really click, get even smoother, in which case I think we might be seeing a winning run. Thank you all for watching. Plenty of vlogs coming. I'm going to be at Southampton Ipswich on Tuesday night. And in the meantime, you can stick with the channel. Why not click up here? We started a new series last week. Please give it your support. A little bit different championship cheat code. So let me know which player's played for your club and has really just bossed this division, been too good for it. We started with Aston Villa's Jack Grealish in 1819. Thank you all for watching. Let's head back home.